Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Chase Pipes with Smoke Mountain Relic Room and Chase and History, and here with us today is Dr. Teresa Putty. Now, I've known Miss Teresa whoa, literally whoa. since I was a little kid. Literally. Literally since I was a little kid. Get down there and, and show what, me how little you were. And what, Show me how little you were. I was this tall. It was awful. I yes, was yes, little, yes. And then, and then I, I ate and then you got up. I grew up. But, but, but... What Miss what Miss Teresa has done is 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 in a portion part of her life she decided that she wanted to go back to school and study what she loved, which is archaeology. Miss Teresa, tell us about you know how how you made this decision, why you made it, and and the steps that you went through in order to become a professional archaeologist. Well, uh, I was a mother, and when my girls got in high school, I decided to go back to school and get my degree, and I was going for teaching. And I took one anthropology class, and that's all I wrote. I mean, at that point, I was in love with archaeology and got my uh, bachelor's from IU. Go Hoosiers! <laughs> and I got uh, my graduate degree from Ball State, and I just love it. I've worked with the uh, American Museum of Natural History out of New York, and Smithsonian, and I've just been everywhere, and I love it. And Don Ham's book. And I wrote a, and I wrote a book, uh, tell Birth us about of a Culture. The birth of a Culture? Yes. Now tell us about this culture, because this culture is actually based in where the Smoky Mountain Relic Room is at in Absolutely. Eastern Tennessee. Absolutely. What's so unique about this group? What's unique is that culture was formed by several other cultures. You have the Hopewell, the Indina, the Red Ochre. It's, it's almost like a group from each one of those cultures formed their own group down there. They moved, either someone got mad and said, okay, we're leaving this group, let's go down there and form our own. And if you look at all the relics that have ever been recorded in that small area in Tennessee, they have influence from the Hopewell, the Adena, the Red Ochre. Oh, I yeah. mean, they just have all kinds of, of influences. And that's what makes it unique. And the reason why I called it the Red Jasper Focus, every collection that I went into and studied to write the book Everybody had points made out of red jasper. It could be red, it could be yellow, it could be orange, but every collection had hundreds of jasper pieces. Wow. So that's the reason why I named it and red so, jasper. So that right there, that was the link. Is, that was you know, the link. You have all these cultures coming in from different yes. areas, and but the one link one that combined them all was, was red, red jasper. jasper. Oh, that's so cool. Red jasper. Now, let me it ask was... you about red jasper. Is red ja now, nobody really knows where the source of red jasper is. Oh, so, yeah, that's okay. Hold on, hold on. This right. is Dad. Dad's checking in, in. Checking uh, in, checking in, checking in. Check it out. All right. Check it, in, check it out. So, uh, so there is no source of, of red jasper in East Tennessee, is no. there? Well, it's from what I found around the, well, one particular site, a lot of red jasper can be found on the surface. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I didn't really investigate the source. I don't know if there's actually a source of the red jasper, but that was what the main the main source of my book was. You know, pulling that together in the main concentration was the red jasper. So that's the reason why I called them the red jasper people. Well, see, guys, this is what you can do. I mean, it doesn't matter what stage of your life you're in or what you're doing in life. Even right. if you have two kids, you can go back to school and get a degree in archaeology right. and go and write a book and write about you know a culture that nobody's ever really heard of like the red jasper yes. culture yes. which is guys get online google you know look for the book uh, the red jasper uh, culture it's an excellent awesome book yes. and it's in our area in east tennessee in the great smoky mountains so miss teresa love you thank I you so you. much it's filmed oh. by and as now chase is, by, as chase is as now holding art gerber. art gerber art thank you so much for being our cinematographer here oh bravo wow. Hold on, we, we gotta get. Hold on, it's still. We're still rolling. Oh, we're rolling. rolling. All right, let's do one more you who, and then you can stop. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> and, and